Wrap one of these babies and burn your enemies to a crisp or zap them out of existence. These SMGs pack a nasty punch, and when you want to deal the final blow, let the secondary fire loose and launch a slow-moving yet powerful ball of pure energy. Hey there guys, it's Millimaster on the line here with Danny, and I'm bringing to you, um, another weapon review so today I have here um, this new SMG um, it's the new robot sla slash laser uh, one it's called the surreal super rifle for the Royals that's it and the unrealistic uber rifle for the nationals um, this is how it looks, this is how it fires, and it has a special outfire which just shoots this projectile and explodes on impact. Um, it's a slow SMG as you can see by its rate of fire. Um, it has 30 bullets and it is uh, it has a very long range. Okay, so let's start the test from a far away range. That's 10, 10, 14, 11, 16, 10. Okay, and now firing the projectile. That's 20 on a direct hit. As you can see, it takes quite a long time to reload um, the outfire. <coughs> okay, so as soon as I see you get healed up, okay, I'm gonna start. So that's 30 from over here 11, 14, 10, 16, 15. Pretty much the same as what we were getting from back there. I'll let you heal. If you have shield, you could use it. Okay. Oh, 25, 27, 14, 12, 24, that's a critical hit, 10, you should heal first, I'm gonna try a little more from over here, okay, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad, not that good, cause you know, slow rate of fire, anyways, let's try the projectile from here, 20, direct hit, nice horse, by the way. Now closer, Thank no, you. you can... <laughs> closer. <laughs> no problem. As you can see, almost no damage, and it's really slow, so it's not good for short range. Okay, so now let's try hitting the projectile a little to the side, see what happens. As you could see, it was 20 on a direct hit, and he got, he got propelled into the air. Let's try hitting him there. 17, not that high of a, a jump or whatever. There, well, let's wait for it to reload. Okay. 13, once again, he's not propelled into the air. However, it does take quite some damage. Now direct hit again, whenever it reloads, there we go, 20, oh, get just, air get air wow, okay, okay, don't know what he said there, but, <clears throat> it it's just like a rocket, you know, you shoot him and he just gets propelled into the air, oh, air guitar, <clears throat> Okay, so you know, it's you could just pop out of a corner like this, shoot, shoot this, 20 damage, and then you know, maybe change to your other SMG and kill someone. Of course, it's not really that good of uh, an alternative. Anyways, please get in the Jeep. We're gonna test this against, against Jeeps. Okay. As you can see, it's normal SMG damage, 
with your normal fire mode. However, the out fire, that's a 10, and it kind of pushes the Jeep away. Um, if you can, just try uh, coming directly at me. Well, it kind of slows down the car there. Not enough, though. You'd probably get road killed anyways. Let's try from from the side. That's 10 damage. It's not, you know, it's better than usual, but it's not that great. So overall, should have been, uh, been besides it. Huh? Should have been besides it. Don't hit the car. Ah, uh, yeah. Near. Okay. That's 24 damage. No displacement on the car. Uh, it was 10 24 damage because it was damaging the car itself and um, you know the the player as well. So that's why you got a higher value. Okay, so um, Danny has a tank right there, and we're going to test this against a tank. Um, oh, let's see. It's five damage on the tank. Uh, let's wait for it to reload. As you saw, no displacement. Now they're at the side. A little displacement, not enough though. Oh hi. Ten damage. It's better than nothing. Seeing as soldiers have really nothing besides grenade blast and blowtorch to get rid of tanks. 30 damage, but that was because it also hit uh, Danny. So Danny, if you could please just switch to the driver's seat. Yeah, okay. Sure. Thanks. So yeah, oh, that's hello, it. Guys. 10 damage. Hi. Well, anyways, um, um, going further on, um, we discovered something. Um, if you shoot this far enough, it will just go, and eventually it will stop, hover there for quite a while, and then simply explode. <coughs> and something, oh, yeah. something oh, yeah. else, uh, Danny, please, yeah, IG, and it eats your projectile. So, anyways, for our final remarks um, I'd say this gun is not that good and it's not worth buying and why is that first of all it's really slow I think it's I don't I'm not sure though I didn't test this out but it seems to be slower than your normal um, slow SMGs it is accurate it deals quite a substantial amount of damage um, however it has only 30 bullets, uh, it's, it's still not as good as the long range pistol. Um, the out fire mode is really not that good. The only thing I, I'd say is awesome is on, that on a direct hit just propels the person into the air. So it will be useful because they can't hit you as well if they are in the air. Um, other than that, it's just too slow traveling. Let's say I was over here, and I'm trying to hit a commando over there. He's shooting at me. I shoot this, and he has time to see the, the, the thingy coming at him and just walk away peacefully, normally, like that, and nothing happens. So yeah, anyways, in my opinion, um, the projectile is too slow. Um, it has not that of not that good of a damage per second. It's really slow firing. Uh, you probably miss quite a substantial amount of shots. So yeah, unless you really like how it looks or something, because personally I really do. Um, Unless that's it, or you have some other reason, I wouldn't recommend that you buy it. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and that you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment down below if you want to say or ask something. And subscribe to stay tuned to more weapon reviews, because I'll be reviewing uh, the next robot weapon coming out.
So, see ya. Se mete o gajo em brado, que tipo arde. Oh, isto estava fixe. Ok, foi bem, foi bem, foi bem. Se quiser jogar nada, eu te impede. Vamos começar a ver a série.